Well, this week I'm back with another tip to help you with your DIY projects, and we're talking about refinishing furniture. One of the big parts about refinishing dressers is making sure that hardware pops. I'm going to give you a couple of tips on some cool metallic sprays and show you how those can add a little accent and flair to your piece. Let's get to it. I started this project off by gathering a few pieces of various hardware from my spare parts bin. Most of the items are things I've taken off previous projects. Now you'll need a piece of scrap wood and a bag of wooden bamboo skewers and of course a variety of metal spray paints. I also like using a tool called the spray paint comfort grip. It's well worth the money and it will save your fingers. You'll also need to grab a medium sized box and I'll explain why you use that in just a few. First up, we'll tackle the antique three inch drawer pull. You'll find these types of pulls on a variety of dressers and chests that are about 20 to 30 years old. I begin by grabbing the skewer, wrapping it with tape at the top. I use painter's tape, but you can really use any tape that you have available to you. The skewers will serve as arms to hold up the three pieces of the drawer pull. You can elevate the skewers to the height that you like. The goal is to access all sides of it while you're painting it. Now, although I'd like to take credit for this idea, this time-saving trick is actually one I got from a designer on Pinterest a few years ago. Now, for this drawer pull, I'm using Krylon's Premium Metallic Paint in silver. After I snap my comfort grip on the top, it's time to spray. Now, it's always a good idea to check to make sure that the opening on the front of the grip is lined up with the spray can nozzle. After a few passes, you can rotate the piece until you achieve your desired coverage. Next up is a futon sofa leg. This came off of a futon I reupholstered last year. For this, I'm using Rust-Oleum's Bright Coat Metallic Finish. I thought using a bronze would give it a fresh look. I used a similar technique making full strokes back and forth. It's always a good idea to start spraying off the edge of one of the sides and continue to spray off the other side. Now the final piece is a gate latch. Although it's an older piece, the metal was in good shape. It had several types of finishes on it, including some old paint. Now because of that, I used a product called Rust-Oleum Hammered. It's intended to give a little extra texture, saving time by covering those imperfections with a really nice design. The hammer paint comes out fast, so you'll want to use quicker pumps and shorter strokes so that you don't oversaturate your piece. You will also want to keep in mind that these paints work on wood, metal, and even plastic, giving you some great versatility for your projects. All right, all in all, I think the legs turned out pretty nice and also a nice little drawer pull there. Most of the finishes turned out exactly the way we wanted them. If you're curious about, of course, uh, some of the hiccups we have with it, be careful with your spraying flow. Make sure they're even swipes back and forth there to get a nice consistent coating on whatever you're going to use. And also the hammered finish turned out great for changing the texture of the uh, surface. So I definitely recommend that as well. We will have a link to all the different sprays we use in the descriptions below. And if you would love to continue to follow all the different tips and tricks and projects we're working on here at Bailey Built, please click like and subscribe. Until the next time, take care.